This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Within a table that holds your data records, you can sort the data by any one of your fields. If we use our address book with data database, which is in your working folder, and open up the TBL contacts, which we can do with a double click, you can see across the top your column headings, your fields. Now up here will be used the field name or the label, depending on which you have. If you have a label, the label takes precedence over the field name. By default, your table is sorted by its primary key. So you can see that everybody is currently in contact ID order, but we can change the sort to view things in a different order. We may wish to see things sorted by surname. So if we click into the surname field, we don't need to select the whole column, just click into any one of the records, it does not even be the first one. On the home ribbon, you'll see we have a sort ascending or sort descending. So if I click ascending, you'll find that everybody gets sorted alphabetically by surname. And at the top of the surname column, you can see there's a tiny little pointy up arrow to indicate that the column has been sorted. So it's not just that column that gets sorted, that all the records are now sorted in alphabetical order of the surname. And we can choose descending to go backwards and you can see the arrow points down. You could go by first name, ascending, and then they're all resorted to be ascending order of first name. We can do it with date fields. We have the dates of birth, so we can click in and say ascending, and they are sorted by effectively date of birth, so age order with the eldest first. Notice that the top person there doesn't have a date of birth. So they effectively are the first because that is an empty field. And we can go descending so that the youngest person is at the top, born in 1982, in fact. You can do it with straightforward number fields, ascending, descending. That's the number of children. So you can see you can really select any field and do it. Perhaps full name, ascending, descending, ascending descending any field you like just click into it doesn't even have to be the first record let's say surname ascending and descending now you can remove the sort on any one of these columns by clicking the remove sort option and you'll see that that takes away all the sorts so if i went firstly by surname ascending then by first name ascending you can see that it's sorted them by surname, but then we went to sort by first name. So now they're sorted by first name, but where the first names repeat, so we have two Alexes, for example, the surname sort will kick in. And if we come down to Fred, you can see there are three Freds, and therefore the surname sort has to kick in Briggs, Grantley, and Large. So the primary sort field is the last one you clicked sort on. The secondary is the previous one. And if we then went and did a tertiary sort, so if I chose region, Ascending, so now by region, so County Durham is first, beginning with a C. Well, actually, the blank one is first because it's empty. But there are a lot of County Durhams. We then look at the first name and see that they are in first name order after they're sorted by county. And then if there happens to be any repetition in the first name, which there doesn't for County Durham, the surname sort would kick in. So you can sort by multiple fields, primary, secondary, and tertiary. The trick is to do them in a backwards way round. So you do the tertiary sort first, then the secondary, then the primary. So it's not ideal, the mechanics of how it works. If you want to remove all the sorts at any one time, you just click remove sort, and it returns back to being sorted by the primary key. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, etc., all the way to the end. So that's the ability to sort your data within a table, which can be quite useful if you're trying to find somebody or doing a quick look or you want to sort them in order. In reality, sorting is best done using a query, but we look at that in the next chapter.